It's both overwhelming and exhilarating to see so many people here today. And please forgive my quality of voice. I swallowed some sandpaper before I came here. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm all this stuff. <laughs> anyway, distinguished guests, principal, members of the faculty, beloved parents and guardians, fellow graduates, families and friends, a good evening to you all. Thank you for being here. Six hours a day, five days a week, 20 months, and hundreds of thousands of minutes and millions of seconds. We spent 376 days here in this building. 376 days anticipating the bell, repeating daily routines, creating memories, and enduring piles of homework that sometimes we don't do. Um, torturing the teachers, and most importantly, learning academically, socially, and emotionally. The two years we spent at Henry Hudson will never be forgotten as a time each and every one of us learned more about ourselves and each other. As we graduate and venture onto our separate paths, I would like to congratulate the graduating classes of 2014 to 2015. Each one of us has our own story to tell from Hudson, some of which we could tell our parents, and a whole bunch that we can't, because if we did, we'd get in trouble. <laughs> we all made different choices and all created our own memories. I am truly humbled and honored to have been chosen to represent this batch's story and for the opportunity to share the journey that has led me to where I am now. Two weeks ago, I was informed that I'd be the valedictorian. Ex excitement aside, the first thing that piqued my concern was, oh my gosh, I'm going to write a speech. I thought and see about all the things I could talk about, what I've learned, the many extracurricular activities I enjoy and sometimes didn't enjoy, experiences with teachers and peers, and field trips. However, I realized that sharing every single element would take, well, two years. So I tried my best to condense it. I discovered one thing that all Henry Hudson students experienced in one way or another, running laps. <laughs> Long story short, one of those stories I can't tell my parents, my class got in trouble and we had to run two extra laps. <laughs> I always ran about four minutes. Panting heavily from the two other laps beforehand, I told myself I couldn't do it. I told myself it was too hard. But my partner kept feeding me words of encouragement, and in the end, I made it. As I finished the lap, it made me reminisce of my grade, se my act of grade seven. I can't really say I was a great student. I lacked enthusiasm and diligence as a student, and it reflected on my half-hearted attempts at homework, classes, and extracurricular activities. As a result, my parents weren't too enthusiastic about my grades either. This lack of interest manifested itself in a very tangible manner. At the end of grade seven, my grades were below class average. That's when reality hit me like a rock. I told myself, imagine if I actually tried to do my best. And so I continued my laps. But this time, with more commitment and energy. I just never imagined how gratifying it would be to reach the finish line with several rewards. You see, Insecurity and lethargy are the bane of your dreams. They get in the way of growth. The only way you can get past your insecurities is through belief. Belief in oneself and others believing in you. I challenged myself to give my 100% best in all I do, but without many of the other people supporting me in my life, I could not have gotten past my insecurities. Belief in myself, constantly reinforced by a wonderful support system of family and friends. That is how I gain confidence, direction, and perseverance to achieve my goals, just like my partner who prodded me to continue and ran by me until the end. You see, we need not journey through alone. 
Accomplishments are achieved through the combination of one's personal drive and motivation, love and, and love and support given by those around them. Therefore, I would like to acknowledge, acknowledge all of those who have been instrumental in bringing me to where I am today. I will always be grateful to those who provided me ends, endless support. To God, first of all, my parents, my siblings, my teachers, my mentors, and my friends. You are the ones who truly deserve all the credit. Despite my reluctance to learn and grow, you have taught me that change is necessary in order to move forward. Thank you for your patience with me. The work is not finished, and I hope that we can continue on the road of life together. It has been a long journey for all of us, tough at times, but always worth it. I will always cherish the ones who walked along me, along me, alongside me in this journey. Those who laughed with me, sang with me, and even those who strayed away from me. We will all be moving on to the new paths we have chosen, and we'll be acquiring new friends. The experience may be quite overwhelming, but what lies ahead is far greater than any of us could imagine. U.S. Senator Orrin Hatch once said, There's a good reason why they call these ceremonies commencement exercises. Graduation is not the end. It's only the beginning. Yes, it is only the beginning of a vast blank canvas that is ready to be filled with the colors of life, each image reflective of our, of our own individual experiences. As I look upon all the familiar faces here today, I wonder if they will still be familiar to me in a couple of years. I truly wonder where our paths will take us, and I definitely wonder if reality will hit you like it hit me. I know that Henry Hudson will be remembered by all the students sitting here today. Through the lens of every experience and memory that they have collected during their time here, I know that I can speak for our batch in declaring that we are greatly honored to be graduates of Henry Hudson Senior Public School. As we move into different high schools to continue to discover ourselves and our values, my fellow graduates, I encourage you to do your best with, our, with the individual gifts and resources that have been endowed upon you. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. My fellow graduates, let us continue this marathon with perseverance and a determination to never give up. Once again, I congratulate the 2015 graduating class of Henry, Henry Hudson CPS. May, may you succeed in all your future endeavors, and more importantly, have a wonderful summer. Thank you. Presenting the valedictorian and Masters of Ceremony Award we all, and offering the closing marks is our present principal, Mr. McTaggart. <laughs> 